So the fish, they always want something. So we're going to put his yummy, yummy breakfast right <coughs> where his mouth is. And his tummy actually comes outside of his body to eat the clam. Now if he's hungry, if he's hungry, he'll eat that. If he's not hungry, the fish get it. And they know it. <laughs> so we're going to let that hold for just a minute. And we're only going to pet this one on the top now because he's having breakfast, or brunch, shall we say. So here's another big one up top. This is a sea cucumber. He eats the leftovers. He's the vacuum cleaner in the tank. So this one's the vacuum cleaner. Even this one you can hold, as long as you hold him under the water. This is a pebble collector, urchin. He has prickly, feels like your hairbrush. He's a little prickly, but he won't hurt you. The ones out in the ocean, you don't want to do this with because they have spines. And the spines break off and they go in your skin and they fragment like glass and they sting like a bee. But this one doesn't have those. He has little sucky feet, little gecko feet all over his body. So what does he do? He puts little rocks on top so that he doesn't look edible. What's edible? Eating. Right, very good. So I don't have to feed him because what does he eat? Anybody know what this green stuff is? What's the green stuff? Algae, mommy knew, algae. Okay, so we have a pebble collector. We have the sea cucumber. We have the knobby sea star. Who else is in here? Who's that big round blob thing? Who's that? Who is that? Anybody know the name of that one? That's a sea star too. That's Pea. It's called a cushion sea star. And I'll show you why. Look on the bottom. Look how beautiful that is. The star pattern as well. So this one's nickname is Mermaid's Pillow. Isn't that sweet? Mermaid's Pillow. Because he's very soft. Now this is a small one, so he's not going to eat very much. But that's a big one. Let's see if we can eat that one.